qualifying here. Jesse B in Bahrain. A sub 126. Well done. It is he versus Bags that all eyes are on. Bags in second spot. Invero, Ozzy, Brani, Abe, Matty, Badger, Jake, Will Ollie B, and Jimmy. It is the first race this season where all human drivers have finished above the AI. Lights out in Bahrain, the third last race of the Grand Prix TK Jazz and Bags dueling. Bags Liddell trying to go in the inside. Slight contact, you feel, maybe from behind as well. Jazz does get through cleanly enough, both he and Bags on the softs. Goodness me, if you ever needed a picture of the driver championship, you have it right there. He's still alongside Bags Liddell. I don't believe he slotted in behind. Some drama between the AI, particularly back there. Eventually, Bags does tuck in just behind Jazz CB. That one, Ozzy up in third. Invero, Arbate, Honey Badger, Matty, Jake, Bebe, and Jimmy Dimes back ahead of the AI. What a good start for Brani. He will work his way from the back. I think that's Honey Badger going very wide. We head into sector two. Majority of these drivers starting on the softs before headed to the mediums. Bags right behind Jazz CB. If the Alpha Tori have a good day in the constructors, they may well sew that up. The drivers' championship alive until the last race regardless and how bags liddell would love to pin things back a bit there's a rari stuck there it's leclerc lap one done jazz a 130 bags on the straight perhaps nice camera angle i guess we'll hold it for a while maddie essendon in the pit Maybe onto the hards to get the rest of the race done. I guess you can do it with the Mets as well. But right now, it is Bags Liddell in Jazz CB's exhaust. They are a good sniffing, if you like. I wonder how long until he makes his move. The straight in sector two, the long straight in three. And as you go past, Start finish line. They're straight on number one. There are plenty of opportunities to overtake. Cheer pace. The smallest of those four straights, if you like. The bags waiting. After this turn, you'll go again. As his pace out of the turn, Jazz goes very wide indeed. Manages to keep quite a bit of pace, however. Thought that might have been the moment. What about now? Maybe he's just waiting. Bags Liddell. Kill point two. Jazz is doing enough to hold him at bay for the moment. You see there, Bags at the last minute has a look down the inside. Not feeling it just yet. Ozzy one second behind. Invero Arbate. And Jake back in seventh. Finishing the race would be enough, really. Keeping in mind that we have so many AI with a lot of drivers missing today. If Jake can just finish in any type of pace, Alpha Tori will be happy. Lots of battles all over the track right now, but we will stick with this top two. Fixated on Bags Liddell. If you need the reminder, he is 10 points behind Jazz. Between the pair of them, they have won every single race. Quite incredible. Bags in Melbourne. Jazz in Austria, Canada, Silverstone. Then Bags in Monaco and Spa. Then Jazz in Monza. Barring an incident between the pair, you'd imagine... That record will continue. Aussie now one and a half to two seconds behind Invero. Working on him and there is contact. Jazz very slow through the turn. Bags not slowing down at all. 
had a great line, had great pace, but now will that change things? It's actually Jazz who goes into the pits. No, it's not. Complete light on the straight. It is Bags with the overtake. Thank you very much for the camera angle again. Doing me dirty. I saw the pit. It was in fact that one Aussie. That's on me. Apologies. So Bags is able to go past on the straight. The flags out again. Maybe not a bad idea from Ozzy. He was losing speed on that front too. To get plenty of clear air to do what he would like to do. Ghosting is on. The back markers won't be a problem. Currently down in 17th. We'll change. We'll make sure we update how many stops everyone's taken. I guess right now, you can only assume that Bags has a little bit of front wing damage. That collision looked heavy enough to produce something. So given any damage, can Bags Liddell pull out and extend a lead? At the moment, it's staying 0 0.6, 0 0.7. As a sniff at 0 0.8, 0 0.9. That's doing very well to hold him for so long. These 25 percenters. Indeed so long. And stay within DRS. He will give himself every chance. Bags with the fastest lap. And you see with a bit of overtake, I'm sure. Does having a look, but deciding, or maybe just unable to be quite fair. To overtake indeed. Invero in third. Honey Badger's up to fourth. Recovering very well. And what about Will Oli B? Who we all know has got quality. Just chooses to race a little differently, I guess. Would love to see the Alfa Romeo in the points. Anything better than 10th. And he will have had his PB in a pre-TK for this season. Will Oli B 10th in Melbourne. 10th in Monaco. What about this from Jazz? He is very much within striking distance still. Going very, very wide there, Bags. Jazz will have to be patient. Only half a second. A wonderful battle this is. How about we go back and have a look at the Alpha Tori? Jazz CB. Leading the Grand Prix TK in Season 2. Alpha Tori well out in front. His teammate Jake in 7th. Jimmy Dimes. The other Aston Martin in 8th. The other little battle to keep your eye on. Points for Aston Martin. At the top and in the middle. Neither driver ready to pit. They're going to go another on the softs. Thought maybe that would have been the moment for Bags. Who doesn't appear to be able to... Get any extension, get this time out of one second. Guys, I'm sure will be quite happy to work off the back of him for another lap. Invero, three seconds back. Addy Essendon, not a good race for him. Second last, but of course, a lot of these AI will pit, and if Matty doesn't have to, he'll be fine. Arve as well, it could be good times. Flags once more, but nothing too dramatic. We hope you see that. Will Oli B and maybe Brani with some contact. They head on into sector two. So Jimmy Dimes up into fifth, making the most of that. And Jake in sixth. Both Aston Martin currently ahead of both Alpha Tori. And those constructors' standings far from cemented. Plenty left to make things interesting. All right. What about this time, Bags Liddell? Goodness me, I thought that was going to be a little collision as they entered the pit, but Jazz doing the right thing. Staying right behind him. Copying Bags' as every move. Upon resumption. We're going to have that same duel. Invero and Badger also choosing to pit. Jimmy Dimes is going to stay out. Is he on the softs, Jimmy Dimes? 
He's not. He's on the mediums. So you know what? Jimmy may well have played this extraordinarily well. He comes out in fourth. And still has the softs to come. Jimmy Dimes. What a turnaround if you need the reminder. An eighth place finish in Canada to get his first ever points. 17th, 17th, 18th, and then fifth last week in Monza. He was over the moon. And Aston Martin currently in second and fourth. Yes, Jimmy will need to pit. Jake down in 18th and with a penalty. We do love the Grand Prix TK. Brani without Clifford today. But Aussie and Badger doing good things for the Williams. Whenever somebody utters the phrase personal pride, it can feel a bit cringe, but Formula One is very apt. The real world, those overtaking of positions translate to real dollars. Here in the pre-TK, it is only the individual winner and the team winners who will take home the cash. If Williams, Aussie and Badger individually work some results, you'll feel very accomplished as they should. Jazz on the straight, three, point three rather, point one, point two, it's not enough time. Brani comes into pit, Jimmy Dimes is staying out for what will surely be his last lap on those mediums. They will be wearing and tearing like no tomorrow and there's no need to risk it. A fourth place, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh would be brilliant for Aston Martin if Jake does not get in the points. A reminder that any and all drivers, oh my goodness me, stop that point right there. Jazz CB has spun out live right here, right now. That has changed things entirely. It didn't feel or look like there was any contact. And yet so innocuous, didn't seem to turn straight into the wall. We stay with those images for a moment longer before moving on. Because as it stands, there are two Aston Martin in the podium spots. There is one Alpha Tori left in this race, and he's only just gotten into the points. Goodness gracious me, here we were thinking about fastest laps. That becomes relatively unimportant in comparison. Jazz CB, your pre-TK leader. What looked so innocuous, he is out of this race. If Bags Liddell can stay anywhere from fifth or above, he will overtake Jazz in the standings. Jimmy Dimes now does come into pit, as does Ozzy. And maybe we're hitting the time where we open up those little stats and have a look. The safety car's out. That's why I tell you what, there's been a few complaints about the lack of safety cars. We have it on reduced for as much action as possible. We're only doing 25 percenters, so we don't really want to watch too many laps. See you later, Jazz CB. We don't want to watch too many laps of monotony. But this has worked out brilliantly for the entertainment of this race. Not what Bags Liddell would have liked. He's on the mediums. Invero is as well. Honey Badger could be on the softs. He's still on the mediums. Jimmy Dimes is on the softs. Maybe this is the best thing for Jimmy Dimes. We're talking about our fourth place would be his best ever finish being that fifth last week in Monza, would he be dreaming of a podium now that the safety car is involved? I'm not sure if that is because of Jazz's car. I did not notice any other incidents. Certainly, every other driver is still out there. What a twist. There is the margin made up for Jimmy Dimes, Matty, Brani, Ozzy, Jake, Arbate, all amongst it as well, of course. Jimmy may well slip further down. We could well have some more incidents with things being more bunched up, but let's try and take a positive approach. Will Ollie be in 14th? 
the only human driver still left outside the points. Let's see if the safety car comes in. No. One more lap. Getting a little ahead of myself. Apologies. Hopefully, no incidents under safety car it is another reason. I'm not fond of doing it in this style of tournament. Not only does it slow things down for the few laps we have, sometimes, whether under AI or otherwise, collisions can occur and it sort of ruins the spectacle. But fingers crossed that's not the case. What we are going to get is the best part of four laps with the leader out of the standings. The Alpha Tori, the only Alpha Tori left that can get points in eighth. And two Aston Martin, I was going to say in the podium spots, but Honey Badger has overtaken Jimmy under safety car. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Unless I'm missing something. I feel like Honey Badger has overtaken Jimmy while under safety car without getting a penalty. Jake has got a penalty. Brani has had an incident under the safety car. Goodness gracious me, will Ollie B sneak some up again? The pre-TK, ladies and gentlemen. If you can make more sense of it than I can, all I know is that we're almost going to have the safety car in bags. And Brandy's done. He's had enough. He can still get a fastest lap. Not interested. Bags Liddell. Invero. And Honey Badger all on mediums. Maybe Jimmy was in fourth all along and I've just forgotten. Zoffs. Zoffs. No, that's the hearts from Matty Essendon. I forgot he had to pit early. Let's get this back underway. The safety car will pull in. Bags Liddell will set the pace. Invero will be in behind him. The Ferraris are colliding with one another. Let's go. Bags Liddell, point two ahead of Invero, who could get his first race win and stop the Bags Jazz winning dominance. Jimmy Dimes passed Maddie behind Maddie, passed him again. Aussie passed Maddie. Maddie passed Aussie. Goodness me, the twists and turns are incredible here. We'll drop back because Jimmy, Ozzy, and Matty, and Jake, you know what? Look at this sandwich right now. These four look like they're the Holden Racing team at the Easter show, and that's a spin for that one, Ozzy. Maybe on the colder tires. Matty Essendon says thank you very much. Jimmy Dimes is in fourth. One second behind Honey Badger. Invero trying to keep touch with Bags Liddell. That one, Aussie, all the way downtown into 19th. Not the restart he would have wanted. Aussie has had a mixed pre-TK season two. Starting off so, so well. Fifth, fifth, second, fourth. Then a 15th in Monaco before seventh and sixth. Maybe it will only be about the fastest lap for him. One second lead. Bags Liddell over Invero, losing touch. He is one of the best for a reason after today. He may well be the best, as the standings suggest. Honey Badger dropping off the pace of those front two as Bags sets yet another fastest lap on the mediums. Jake goes past Jimmy Dimes. All right, the Alpha Tori, the one Alpha Tori still out there. Trying to stop some of this damage. Jimmy, that is very tight. That is a slight spin, but well held by Jake under pressure. Jimmy probably hasn't done any damage with that sneaky maneuver. And maybe it's unnecessary, keeping in mind that it appears Jake has a penalty that he will still have to serve. Arbate and Matty Essendon. Arbate going past Matty. Would be a very good result for Arbate, equaling his best ever finish of sixth, Manny Essendon has two six and a seven. A lot of PBs, very possible. Will Ollie B, we mentioned. Not done better than 10th, currently in eighth. That one Aussie is all the way up to 10th. 
Brani, who we believe has left, is in 15th. Jimmy remains within one second of Jake. How many seconds does he need to stay within is another question. Trying to remember, I feel like Jimmy's tires could be fresher. Instead of guessing. Have a look at that. Jake, Jimmy, and Badger absolutely loving life. They did just stop the once. And indeed, Jimmy with the very fresh tires over Jake. But it is something to jest or hope that Jimmy could stay within striking distance. If anything, the reverse is happening. Arbate now trying to get inside. Jimmy does not let up, breaking very late. But to be fair, doing well. Arbate with the slight clip. No harm, no foul. How many seconds is this penalty, if it even exists? Honey Badger unknowingly doing recon work for the Aston Martin. It looks like Bags will win this race. Can Jimmy get his best ever finish or bring home some big points? That fifth last week is going to be backed up here. Yellow flags are out again. Will Oli B with an incident managing to keep it on the track? He stays in ninth. There's going to be a lot to summarize with only one and a half laps remaining. Jimmy Dimes and Arbe, he comes again, Arbe, and the Haas gets in front. Jimmy falling down the pack even with those fresher tires. Can he be patient and get an overtake back? He doesn't appear to have a lot of patience. There's Jimothy. Again, with this penalty for Jake, you just never know. Honey Badger keeping Jake at bay. We are on the final lap. Bags Liddell, two seconds ahead, just needs to keep it on the straight and narrow. And have a look at this. Jake on the straight past Badger. Means he is in third. At least for now, he'll keep on the inside. Honey Badger will have to relent. Arbe in fifth. Jimmy Dimes so close. In sixth, Matty Essendon. With a bit of a gap behind Jimmy. That one Aussie in eighth. Will Ole be in ninth? And then no one's picked up McLaren, so a bonus point for nobody. Keeping in mind that Brani has left and Jazz spectacularly spinning out. Watching on live or watching on the replay. How do you think this is going to go down? Jimmy is outside a second now. It's not looking good for him. Straight away, of course, with Arbe, Honey Badger, all colliding. Maybe it will be a late maneuver for Jimmy Dimes. Bags Liddell, was there an incident with Jazz? Was it clean? We may never know. I'm sure we'll find out in the Discord. He comes back again with his main rival out. Bags Liddell does exactly what he needs to do. A faster slap and a race victory. Bags Liddell takes out Bahrain. Inveru will come second. And what about this little battle? Jake in third. Honey Badger. Arbe going at it at the line. Contact. The Haas gets his nose in front. And Arbe steals the podium. Jimmy Dimes gets fifth after Jake, who slips down to sixth position. Matty Essendon seven on the eighth. Will Oli be in ninth? What an incredible end here in Bahrain. The Alpha Tori slips down to sixth. Jimmy Dimes is your driver of the day. It will only be one Aston Martin on the podium, but crucially, there are no Alpha Tori. He stands, he lifts that trophy. In Vero, it's another second spot for him. Second in Monaco and Monza. But what about Arbe? The late maneuver, meaning he gets third after having done no better than sixth. Let's see if we can wrap all of this up. Bags Liddell with the fastest lap. Invero, Arbait, and Honey Badger. Jake may be with that penalty I see in hindsight. It was a five-second penalty. Could well be the reason he slips down. Jimmy Dimes in fifth. Honey Badger has had a very good day. In fact, a lot of these drivers have had a record day. Bags with a big win. Invero equal best finish. Arbait best ever finish. Honey Badger, best ever finish. Jimmy Dimes, equal best finish. Jake and the Alfa Tori, 
Bahrain is not one to remember. Matty Essendon, second best finish. Will only be best ever finish. Two races remaining. Who will take it out next week in Baku?